And we are going to go straight to Jammu, where the architect of the BJP's performance, Ram Madhav, is joining us. BJP in charge of Jammu and Kashmir. Mr. Ram Madhav was brought in to this role and then we saw this phenomenal performance of your party. Congratulations, Mr. Ram Madhav. How do you look at the party's performance? Uh, thank you. And uh, let me at the outset clarify that this uh, performance, which is a spectacular performance, no doubt, but uh, that is not because of me joining a month ago. A uh, lot of effort has gone into it in the last couple of years. Uh, uh, from our leaders in Delhi, like Shri Amit Pai himself and others, but also our state team, state leadership, our party in charge. Everybody has done a lot of uh, groundwork and I just entered a month ago. Uh, we all have collectively worked towards this good victory. I would consider it as a very, very significant victory for BJP. Uh, okay. I also worked in 2014 elections yeah. in this state. I am sure you all uh, remember that. Uh, the victory at that time was also a very big victory. We won 25 seats at that time. This time we won 29 seats. But the important, importance of uh, this uh, result is that we won almost all the seats, I would say, of the main Jammu region. If you exclude uh, the Doda Kistwad and uh, you know what generally is described in this area as Peer Panchal region, the entire Jammu voted for BJP. And that's the reason why today BJP stands as the number one party in terms of vote share. We have close to 26% vote share, uh, as against uh, you know, NC's 24%. The reason being massive support we got from Jammu. Right. I think that's a very important message that uh, you know those who are planning to uh, form the government in the state must remember that they don't have any mandate from Jammu and Jammu's mandate is with BJP. So we all have to work together for the you know, good progress and development of the state. You know, Ram Madhavji, that's my next question. Omar Abdullah was on this program about five minutes back, less than that, in which he said very, very significantly, <clears throat> he's willing to keep 370 aside for now, number one, he says there is no reason to have an antagonistic relationship with the, B with the BJP in Kashmir's interest. And the BJP, he says, has no interest in having an antagonistic relationship potentially with the National Conference. He says he has to work with Raj Bhavan. He has to work with the center because he has to get the job done uh, for, 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 for people in the state, obviously. How would you respond to those ro remarks by the man who's going to be the next chief minister of Jammu and Kashmir? Oh, firstly... Our uh, hearty congratulations to him. It's a well-deserved victory for them. Uh, just as we swept up the entire Jammu region, they also uh, made extraordinary gains in the entire Kashmir Valley. So naturally, we congratulate him and he's going to stake the claim for uh, forming the government. Our best wishes for him. And as far as uh, the future of the government or the functioning of the government is concerned, uh, you know, Prime Minister Modi doesn't discriminate between uh, state and state because of which political party is in power. That's not the way BJP functions. Uh, that's what we learned from Modi ji. So that's not the way in which BJP in Jammu and Kashmir is also going to function. We will certainly work for the for the good of the state. When I the good of the state, as I mentioned earlier, we represent Dong, our predominant representation is from Jammu. We work for the welfare and well being of people of Jammu. There, there won't be any compromises. We will fight for the rights and uh, you know, uh, developmental uh, you know, uh, challenges of Jammu region. But at the same time, we will be definitely willing to cooperate with the government in matters that uh, help uh, the state grow, state develop. There is no doubt about it. And Mr. Rama, the, you know, the fact is that the BJP did not even open its account in the valley. Is that a matter of concern for you? Uh, not necessarily a matter of concern, but it's certainly a challenge for us. You know, we cannot uh, all the time be saying that, you know, we have swept off the entire uh, Jammu region, so we are so happy and all that. That's not going to be sufficient. Maybe next five years, we have to really work hard uh, towards expanding our footprint in Kashmir Valley. Having said it, I just wanted to underscore one point here. In one seat in Kashmir, we got it in 19 seats. In one seat, our candidate came very close to victory. I mean, he lost by just 1,000 votes. Right. 
you can imagine bjp's candidate losing the election by 1000 votes means today we have been able to you know probably capture the imagination of the people to some extent it's not enough to win seats yet but i am sure uh, on a lighter note uh, may I remind to you that uh, congress party has been fighting elections in kashmir for last seven decades and they still have two to four to five seats only they were down six <laughs> there from is last a particular time. mood huh. Ram Madhav ji, but uh, we, we we won't take that long. I'm saying we won't take 70 years to reach there. We will next five years. We will try to get a good good foothold. So Ram Madhav ji, there's been a process. Uh, the, the special status of Kashmir was revoked. There was a period when elections were not held. We've had wonderful elections in the state. It's been the demand of so many parties that there is a restoration of statehood. Um, that was what Omar Abdullah also said that he wants to work with the centre and he hopes that happens. Do you believe, sir, that that is? Uh, logically, the next big step for Jammu and Kashmir, restoration of statehood? Oh, yeah. First of all, the first point that you mentioned, uh, probably the the uh, the significance of it probably needs to be understood by the rest of the country properly. You know, Jammu and Kashmir always had a big component which used to boycott elections. Yes. Mm. yes. That component used to be like Hurriyat. Jamaat e Islami, these parties used to boycott every election. There is, I mean, we were not there at that time. Even those days also, they used to boycott elections. But do, do you know, in this election, not only Hurriyat components, not only Jamaat, they, not only they voted, supported the election, but they even contested in the elections. That is the real good achievement of uh, our democracy. Today, there is nobody in the Kashmir Valley who is saying that I won't uh, participate, I'm boycotting. There is no boycott. Everybody, including Jamaat and including Hurriyat, have joined the process, which is a real good victory for us. As far as statehood is concerned, uh, you know, our leadership has committed it on the floor of the House. Okay. Uh, and so, in terms of a time ago, period, Prime Minister has a, repeatedly as a close said observer, it. Ram Madhav ji, as a very yeah. close follower, what is a logical time period? I know it's not up to you to decide. Mm -hmm. But do you believe that are we looking at months, maybe a year? Um, what is your sense of it? Oh, so uh, my 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 feeling is that you know certainly the Union Territory will get statehood. Uh, that is one commitment even Prime Minister gave at the time of the campaigning also last week itself. He said it. No, we will certainly give the statehood to to Jammu and Kashmir UT. It will happen. But you remember one thing, Jammu Kashmir. Uh, has uh, traveled a lot of distance in the last five to ten years. Uh, it gave up uh, uh, that complete terrorist identity today. It's a very peaceful state. We have uh, traveled a distance in terms of separatism also. As I mentioned to you, today even Jamaat has joined the political process, democratic process. It's a big achievement for our country, our democracy. So those in power in this state should be reassuring to the <laughs> people in Delhi, that they won't bring those tendencies back into this region, then okay. full statehood is possible. Now, here are people who have been demanding release of all the terrorists in jail, demanding re restoration of Article 370. With that kind of uh, attitude, if they go to the assembly in the state and then demand that give me statehood because I have to release to release political prisoners, uh, separatists and the terrorist leaders and all, that becomes problematic for larger national uh, you know, security issues. Otherwise, yes, we are in favour of this uh, UT getting statehood sooner than later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ram Madhav, there is Nirja Chaudhary in the studio, also Professor Sandeep Shastri. They have, uh, they'll be pitching in for, with some questions as well. Nirja Chaudhary, go ahead. Uh, Mr. Ram Madhav, uh uh, you know, implicit in the mandate is that Jammu and the Valley work together. You represent Jammu, then NC represents the Valley. Now, both sides in the state would like the restoration of statehood. I'm only pursuing what Vishnu was saying earlier. You know, to say as soon as possible, as soon as it's feasible, every party, your, your party has declared we will do it, your leadership has declared we will do it, other parties have demanded it. So what is the hitch? Why not a clear timeline? Okay, a year down the line, eight months down the line, we will do it. Uh, no, if that is your suggestion, I will certainly carry that suggestion to our leadership. Can we give a timeline for that? But 
uh, those in the government will take uh, the decision at an appropriate time. I can only say that much because Jammu and Kashmir is not like all other states. There are certain issues that the government has to keep in mind. We have that's why I said earlier we have travelled a long distance from what it used to be ten years ago or fifteen years ago to today. We do not want to lose those benefits or those uh, you know advantages that we gained over the last few years. And once that is uh, uh, ensured and we are reassured of that, definitely statehood will be given. And what shape and form that statehood will take? I mean, ultimately, when when I say statehood, there is no one format. Different types of formats exist for statehood also. What format does this uh, this UT take when it becomes a state? Will be decided by the parliament because that is the prerogative of the parliament. And in the parliament today, we have enough number of uh, members from all different parties. I am sure they will uh, take an appropriate view on which type of statehood to be extended. Okay, Professor Shastri. Uh, Ramadev ji, uh, a while ago when we had uh, Omar Abdullah ji on this uh, uh, show. He made this point that keeping in mind reality of circumstances, he would keep aside the Article 370 issue and take the other issue of statehood forward. Now, do you not see that as a welcome first sign for this reconciliation and bridge building and trust building between various players who will be part of the process of taking the politics and development of, the, uh, of Jammu and Kashmir forward? Uh, oh, yeah, certainly, undoubtedly. If only I take his words on his face value, yeah, of course, I agree with you. But do you know the statements that came out of uh, uh, Jammu, uh, uh, National Conference Party in Kashmir today? Have you followed them? I tell you what they, those, uh, those uh, statements were. They said, they claimed that it was a mandate for our demand for restoration of Article 370. While I say it's not a mandate for that, because I have enough uh, analyzed it enough in the last few hours. They got only 23% popular vote in the entire state. Okay, I understand that's not exactly about the Kashmir Valley in the valley. They got around less than 35%. But there also, the other parties which are not demanding restoration of 370 had majority. But the, the rhetoric in the valley is that no, this is a mandate for our demand for restoration of 370. So, this has been the tendency of this leadership in Kashmir, especially Mr. Uh, 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 Abdullah and Muftis, that one thing they say in Valley and completely different thing to us in uh, studios in Delhi. As long as that tendency continues, it will be difficult. Uh, uh, to your question, the primary point that whether we should work together, of course we should work together for the important reason that now we have to protect the interests of Jammu, which has voted en masse to us. For that also, I would work with them. All right. we so walk, what you're saying, Ram Madhavji, is that they need to walk the talk. Hmm. It's one thing to, to make the statements, but it's, you need to be consistent everywhere. So people in Jammu have to, and Kashmir have to be told the same thing as what is being told on television. I think that's a point that uh, the national conference leadership may pick up on. But I would suggest, Ram Madhavji, it's a very, very positive sort of sense we're getting from Omar Abdullah that he wants to work together with the centre. And a very positive sense from you when you say and you remind us that, look, that's what the BJP does. It's our job to work with, the, with states, whichever state it is, because it's our job to help people. And that's what governance is all about. Thank you very much, sir.